There we go. This time, I remembered to record. Right. No, hang on a minute. We are going for testicles and my test world. Right. So, if you watched the last episode, first off, why? Second of us, I'm sorry. I totally forgot to record that whole thing. So, today, I think that we should actually try to kill the monstrosity one more time. I do have more acid, but then again, I also have, like, electricity. So maybe that's something? Maybe. Just maybe. Okay, let's try to kill the monstrosity, and I wonder... Uh, I do have a flame altar, don't I? I can make one. Because the last episode, basically all I did was, you know, I found some stuff and killed the monstrosity, and now... I need to upgrade the altar to the final level, which I just need not that much stuff. So, yeah, okay. But let's see if we can kill the monstrosity just using magic damage or, yeah, this thing. So we will see, we will see. And I think maybe it's a good idea. I, okay, I guess I need to kill these people. But if we place it just like here and then just kill the monstrosity over and over, maybe? Is that a tactic? Where's the monstrosity? There he is. Okay, let's run again to this guy. I mean, I also don't really take that much damage from him. And then we get a thousand experience, which is okay. I mean, so I don't really have to rely that much on just acid bite. Because if you do get the best armor, we can quite easily just get one of the best ones. In this case, the Ritual Tempest Wand. And we do a lot of damage, but a thousand experience, it's a lot of experience, but then again, how much did I get from the monkeys? I forgot to look, and oh, hang on a minute, I need these. Yeah, I do only get 90, so I would have to kill like 12 of these things. So I wonder, let's just, since I am level 9, let's get to level 10, let's see how fast I can do that. If I just return to main menu, go back in, and... Kill the monstrosity, which should be fairly easy. I might also need a repair bench, but we'll get to it when once we do it. I mean, there we go. Level 10. So we get a few skill points from doing this. I mean, I don't really need any of these stuffs, but I do get a lot of shroud cores. So it's a good way to farm those. Then I can increase the radius of my flame for whatever reason. Okay, so that is not a bad way at all to do this. Let's try to get the flame level. So, Rorbos, Tinoil, Ammonia Glant. Uh, I need a lot of more sparks. Fossilized bone, mushroom, meat. Okay, sure. I mean, might as well get 20 mushroom. No, 20 ancient bones right here. Is this gonna take forever? Should I get a better pickaxe? I mean, this is gonna take literally forever. Let's see. Let's just see. In order to make at least a better pickaxe... Uh, let's see, workshops, it is the blacksmith. Yeah, I don't need much in order to create, like, uh, just a pickaxe. I mean, that's just scrap metal. Yeah, because this is gonna take a long, long time. And I'm, I'm trying to develop some speed strats. So we will see. Okay, I'm just gonna double check that I'm recording. <laughs> uh, it would be fun to see if the wad that I posted... I mean, it's gonna be released tomorrow, if that's even something that someone is interested in watching. It's two and a half hours, unedited, and I'm quite slow when it comes to speaking. I just sit there and mumble, so we will see, we will see. But I don't really want to spend all the time that I... <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want to spend that much time editing that video. I mean, that's how I um, edited videos four months ago, but I do believe that I've gotten a little bit more proficient in my editing. How much is a thousand XP, I wonder? So if we kill the monstrosity one more time... And also, I think I need to time this. How long does it take me to kill the monstrosity? Is this something I can, that you can do from level one? I would presume so. That's a lot of damage. Okay, a little bit careful. Okay, this time I only got 1,080. Huh. Weird. A little bit weird. I mean, I just need that. I mean, I might as well take the trophy. They do stack, yeah. 1,000 experience per. It does not take me a long time to do this. But I also get... Hmm, hum, hum, hum. Okay, so choices, choices, choices. Now, I also know that in Pikeman's Reach... 
there is a lot of enemies there. I know there's a monstrosity down there too. Does the different bosses give different amount of XP? Like, because if I do get the Eternal Acid Bite, I will be able to one-shot all of these bosses very easily, which would make power leveling a lot faster. Okay, so what could be the best way to farm experience? Like, I would presume, actually, huh, if I get the next flame altar, maybe the skeletons give me more XP. Like, if they give me twice as much uh, XP than, let's say, the monstrosity, then yeah, this could be a tactic. Now, I don't remember how much experience I got from the Fell Wyvern, because the Fell Wyvern is also very easy to kill now, especially with Acid Bite. Yeah, Saminona. Oh, hang on, that's a red mushroom. Let's see. Right, because I only have Acid Bite here. Electricity should work on mushrooms. Okay, two. Not bad. I mean, these are easy to kill. Just need to be a little bit careful with the Acid. I'm not sure how much damage they do to me. Right, because now I can also create Acid Bite at the Alchemist. What is that? That is a uh, obelisk, which is fine. Because I do believe if I read this, I get more marks on my map. Yeah, it looks like it, right? Because all of these are Shroud Roots which means that I can get more skill points, which means I've become even more powerful. But this is taking a long time. I've already played on Mr. Testicles for about six or eight hours. I don't really remember. Not really working in the speedrun department, I would say, because I did finish this game in about 30 hours, killed every boss, and I think I also got the best armor. Uh, okay, come on, mushroom. Uh, something here. No, that's just a Zambi. Oh, okay. That guy, yeah, I get like a hundred experience from those people. Okay, that's another mushroom. I saw something red. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so tin I can find a lot of places. Probably also like in a crevice. Crevasse somewhere. Fly, you bastard. Yeah, infinite flight is a must for speed run strategies. Okay, so we're cooking, cooking something. Something is indeed cooking. There we go. Okay, so now we can also level up and we get 20% more electricity damage. That's fantastic. I also need to find tin. Tin should not be, shouldn't be that hard to find. Okay, so if we fly this way, I do believe there's a boss here. Um, could the laboratory be here? What is that? Okay, he's, no, this is something else. <laughs> oh god <laughs> right uh, okay so this was uh, in order to get great padding and such okay that wasn't really worth it okay where's my stuff live and learn at least you don't really lose that much i mean you lose a lot of stuff when uh, you die but at least you don't lose levels i'm looking at you valheim I've died a lot of times in this game, and I do believe that the stuff just stays. Then again, I also did die at this place, and oh, that's a couple of days ago, and that stuff has disappeared, so maybe it's on a timer. Okay, be careful. That's a trap door. Okay, so we got the stuff back, I now just need stamina. I also need to be on the lookout for tin. Maybe it's down here. It is dark now, so yeah, that's something. But oh, what a view. Now, oh, this is a very beautiful game, it is. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> oh, God. Yes. No wonder I'm having a hard time in Tekken. I can't remember buttons. I sat down. I, I just waited for him to take me. Oh, uh, good God. Okay. More flight. More flight. And even more flight. This guy is not dangerous. That guy is... And they die so easily. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh boy, hi, howdy. I also know that the Warlock gloves give me 12% more wand damage. So that's something. I do remember there's a boss down here. Okay, so I need to be a little bit careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so there's a lot of archers around here. Okay, he jumped down. And there's also a boss over here. God damn, and a biscuit. Okay, where's the boss? Where's the boss? Is that the boss? Yeah, okay, so he's stuck. Now, can I just stand here and... Okay, uh, I need to be careful. Do I have any healing? Uh-oh, run away, run away. <laughs> okay, stand, stand, stand still, you. Stand still. Can I hit you from here? Ah, so close, but no cigar. 
Okay, get a little bit closer. Come on. There we go. Okay, just stand there. Stand there and look pretty. I said stand there and look pretty. What are you... What? 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 Okay, stand there. No. There. There we go. Stand still. Yeah. Roar at me. Okay, from that guy I only get 340 experience, eh? Right. Hin. Hin. Tin. Tin. Of course, that's why I'm here. Where's the tin? This is supposed to be a mining site. Oh, yeah, this is tin. Fantastic. Fantastic indeed. Can I mine tin? <laughs> Looks like I can, but it's gonna take forever. Uh, and it's not really that hard to make, like, a scrap pickaxe either. I think I'm just being a little bit lazy. Now, I did see a comment on one of my videos, and I really liked the one su suggestion. I don't remember who said it, but, like, that uh, speedrun would be who could get the flame altar to level 6 or the max level because then you would have to defeat all the bosses and as well kind of progress through the game in a natural way it would require skill and a little bit of rng and it depends if you do my method of you know getting the best armor as soon as possible it would be a lot easier but i mean i have spent like almost 10 hours getting to this point so is this faster than prog um, progressing through the game the natural way? I mean, obviously, it is faster. You get better gear, you can kill the um, bosses a lot easier, but... And then there's the question if you should. If you should do it this way. I mean, obviously not the first time, but let's say you make another character. You want a new, fresh world for some reason, then and you just want a power level. Then this is the way. This is the way to do it. Obviously, get a, pe a better pickaxe, because this is gonna take me forever. Uh... Yes. Okay, where is, like, Eternal Aspa? Then I need the laboratory. Laboratory. I believe I make that after I make this one. So maybe I need to make this one first. Oh, but I need so much stuff. Like, it's 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 not, not gonna be easy. Okay, here's a sparky flame shrine thingy. That gives me four, and that's what I need, right? Yeah. Poof. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Now I just need more tin. And I do believe that tin is probably easiest to get over here. And after I get that, I just kill the monstrosity one more time. And then I can kill the skeleton. Which I would think is easiest to kill with the wand, since then I can block. However, I will probably die quite easily to the skull ability, maybe. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to dodge it. Like, double jumping did kind of work, but again, I'm not sure. This is taking a long time. It would probably go a lot faster if I did have a better pickaxe. And I do wonder, you can find just fully refined, like, copper, bronze, and iron bars. So if I just find a couple of iron bars, maybe I can just immediately create the iron pickaxe? I need to start uh, writing stuff down, what I want to test. Okay, how many is that? Nine. Okay, so... Uh, just 11 more, because some bugs gives me 10 XP, and this one gave me 85. Okay, how many is that? That's, that's just 12. Oh, God. Good God. Uh, more chemicals. Lovely, lovely chemicals. I should really just have put down a flame shrine from the get-go. Not sure why I didn't do that. Because I have tried as bite against the skeleton, but it took so long for me to charge up the spell that I died. Because if I mark down the locations of where you can find just raw iron ingots, then it should be easy enough to get yourself an iron pickaxe. Like maybe even down here. Shun Shimmer Subterrain or whatever. Now I should probably be able to go down here without dying. Maybe. Actually, let's do like a so and then like a so. Hoo <laughs> skills. Uh, down here. There we go. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I need five more pin and then kill the monstrosity. Uh, real quick. And then we should be good to go. Now I really hope that they update the game so that you can get better tools, like even better than the iron ones. Like if you could mine tin and everything else as fast as you could sand and also get the same amount, that would be fun. That would be very fun. I don't really like the idea. I've seen the community post about what people want added to the game. I don't like the idea of having to grind up levels for mining, because I mean, sure, it is fun-ish, but then again, if you never grind, you never level up, and yeah, maybe, just maybe. I think it should be tool-based rather than level-based. 
I know that a lot of people enjoy the grind. I do too. But I think it would be more fun if it was just like maybe next time we get an obsidian pickaxe that instantly mines everything and it's awesome. I think I did see a picture of someone with obsidian. Okay, that's 20. Okay, so now we just kill the monstrosity. Easy peasy. I got 1020. Man, how does that work? Why did I get... I'm not sure. Okay, so I needed to do this at the very least, and I'll get this too. Okay, so now we can upgrade the f uh, flame to the latest level. And then we will try to kill the Skeletron. Skellington. Mr. Skelly. Strengthen the flame. Here we go. Okay, so now we got this flame to level 5. Nice. Is level 5 the max level? It is not. Right, okay, so level 6 is maybe the max level. This time I need iron ore, lapis azuli, yucca fruit. Yeah, I know where to get all of this stuff. Okay, but he is right in there. Let's kill the... Oh, the skeleton. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ow, all right. It's also... I also need to get down to the thing. Yeah, okay, and my cape is on backwards, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, stuff is happening. Okay, all right. Okay, um, I need a lockpick. Okay, there we go. Now I can create a lockpick. Let's just, let's just leave me alone. Okay, uh, B and then lockpicks. Create a few. Okay, here we go. Ow. Right, that's fine. Totally fine. Okay, they're busy. Open up. Okay, try not to get killed. Okay, here we go. Right. And open. And let's see. Yeah, I need to activate two buttons, I believe. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right, okay, so this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, we're cooking. Now we're cooking something. Okay, I can block. That is good. Let's get down here. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, good God and a half. Uh, well, that was something. Okay, so I am a little bit higher level. I, I can, come on, and so I am level 11, but I destroyed this guy. Like holy balls and a half. Okay, so now we are we have killed all the bosses extremely easily. I don't really think you need acid bite either. So maybe you don't have to rely on getting. Oh, the wrong way. You don't have to rely on getting acid bite. You just need a very good wand, prof probably the tempest. Right. I forgot to see how much XP I got. Yeah, but I can check the video. This time I am recording, so yeah. Okay, so let's head back home. Nice. Okay, so now all of these people want more. What do you want? Animal fur acquired. You who the greatest game, sure. But what I want from you is maybe the kiln. Maybe. Oh, I can also create the ghost glider, since I've gotten it. Huh. An improved grappling hook, that is maybe something, but I do need the kiln, which I just, I mean, that's easy enough to get. Sure. What about you? I mean, you still haven't given me... Yeah, I think I need to create the alchemy station before I can create the laboratory. Laboratory, damn it. Right, okay, so what do I need for this thing? Sulfur, fine. Saffron, 40 saffron. Whoa. And 40 sparks, that's uh, somewhat easy. And there we should have it. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so this was a very successful run. Okay, so if we go to that place, could I find iron just around here? But yeah, like maybe this place, maybe that place over there. I mean, maybe that place is safer than this area. Right, because I just get scrap metal from these places. What about here? No, I mean, who knows? There should be two bosses down here also. Maybe over there. Right. Let's see if we can find some chests, maybe. And want to be... Okay, like, that guy is a pain in the butt. I mean, he dies easily. How much experience does this give me? Like, 200, maybe 300. Yeah, I mean, so... Hmm. I'm a bird. Birds are bad. Birds are very bad. Okay, just stand over there. Like, birds only give me 90 experience, which is really weird. A little bit careful. <laughs> Okay, but that doesn't matter. No obvious places that I would get iron and such. Now hang on, what was that area over there? The greatest game. Hmm. I'm just gonna take a quick overview. Is this something? I also don't have any rested bonus, which is fine. Maybe. We'll see. Right. 
Okay, so this place is nothing, I believe. Yeah, just maybe placeholder stuff. All of that is Red Shroud again. It is totally fine that it's Red Shroud. Or is there something down there? Now hang on, all of this is still in... in yeah, of course it's in Red Shroud because I haven't upgraded uh, Flame Altar to the maximum level. But why do I want do I want to upgrade it to the maximum level? What is around this area? I know there's a temple over there with maybe something. Again, I haven't spent that much time around this place. I know there's a boss over there. But again, I would be able to kill him quite easily with just, you know, the wand. Hmm. I also need a lot of sulfur. Will I make this thing? Yeah, I will. Good, 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 good. Like, what is the secret behind this temple, let's say? Because I do believe I skipped over this entire thing. Okay, let's get down here. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Right, okay. So, I think we're going to put a hold... Mr. Testicles, because today was also a success. But no, hang on. Why do I want to upgrade the, the flame altar one more time? For what purpose? Because now I can get iron. Uh, let's see. Okay, so back to my world. Because I, th I can finish the game extremely fast now. But we'll see. Okay, so get some uh, rested bonus. Yeah, this is the build that I made yesterday. Of course, I posted the entire VOD, so if you want to see what build this is, you can watch that video. I don't recommend it since it's not edited, and I don't really do that much. And also, I was very tired. Very, very tired. Uh, spending two hours uh, at the church is not exactly, you know, exhilarating. Not that it's bad, or stuff like that, but boy, can it be boring and to just stand there, and especially with a baby. Right, okay, so I have this build, which is like... 10 constitution, 10 strength, and 10 intelligence. But again, I kind of nerfed myself just for the fun of it. This is a sun temple, but why do I want to be there? I also do wonder... Hang on, I can probably check. I mean, usually I don't do research, but yeah, okay. So let's see. Alchemy station? Where's the laboratory? Can I... Yeah, laboratory. Oh, I need the... Uh, Athener or whatever. And scientific instruments. Yeah, I need both of them. No, hang on. The anther... No, uh, I, I create them. Yeah, I need bronze. Okay, so I just need bronze in order. Bronze and the alchemy station in order to make those things. Then I can make the laboratory. And then I can make the eternal acid bite, which I have right now. And with the build that I have on my other character, that's going to do an insane amount of damage. Right, maybe that's what I wanted. To go into this place. Let's see, tutorials? I've never seen much of the tutorial. But lore, yeah, someone uh, reminded me of this. Because here I can maybe see where this page has not been discovered yet. But where is it? I thought it would give me a clue. It did not give me a clue. The alchemist theories. Now hang on, this is, yeah, this is just general and ancients and flames i have discovered almost everything here except for one obelisk research but i'm this page has not been found yet like i thought it would give me a hint to where stuff is that was where i found the rings of repression and that's all i need okay let's just test out that theory then if i go over where was that uh it is oh, sorry, willow's crush Right, I think I found it in this hut, did I not? Like the fisher's tail or something. Now oh, the bruise arms. Like Alex well, the thief. Huh, not sure what that means. It's firing at me. Oh, that fellow. And sploosh. Hmm, it also hits upwards, which is nice. Right, because the thing is, I don't think I can just go to places where I have... Uh, not been because there's a lot of yeah, there's a lot of places that I've just brushed through, especially the elixir whales because of the whole shroud thingy. Like I try to be fast, okay, so now I'm just gonna explore a little bit. And also, I kind of want to be able to make mud. Okay, so I'm just gonna run around exploring for a little bit, trying to figure out what I wanted to test on my main character. Now I also do want another staff that goes with the outfit, and also another electricity wand, just because I'm just going for looks. What? He took damage? Hit me again. Hit me another time. Come on. Huh. Yeah, like here too. Here's plenty of enemies. Now I kind of want to try to do something about the settings. Because I've seen some of the photos from our screenshots from other people and they just look way better than they do on mine. V-Sync off, obviously. Okay. DLSS. Maybe that's like auto. 
Oh, hang on, this does something. Almost balance. If we go with quality, I don't really see much of a difference. So if we just go with balance, let's say that. Uh, there's mission quality, shadow, maybe shadows. Uh, who knows? The game looks fine now. I have the same amount of F F Okay, now the FPS drop. Yeah, okay. All right, okay, so let's do some minor exploitations and try to get on fancy looking staff and maybe a better electricity wand. And when I say better, I mean better looking. I don't have to be fantastic, but I want to look fantastic. Ugh. Okay, so that fucker took about half of my life, even though I am max level. Oh, I don't have that much physical resistance because, again, most of this is... I think it's mage armor. Yeah, this is mage armor and this is archer stuff. Like shocking ice wand. Maybe I want that, but I do want it in legendary. I also do wonder if, if all of this stacks. Let's see, because that wand is both shock and ice so if i get both ice and shock does it stack that way too and does that also count with melee weapons that let's say do both blunt piercing and cutting if i spec into all three because i know i want a sword i want a sword and an axe that looks sort of plain that is of course also legendary so we're gonna do some more loot boxes yes accelerating content a lot of this I'm probably just gonna cut out because it's not really that fun unless I know what I want and I do get it. I do wonder, uh, no, yeah, no, it was this box. I do want just like a regular staff because the Shroud Weaver I'm just gonna test out. How does that look? It's a little bit too good, although it is level 35. Fire magic damage. Yeah, you know what? I think that I'm gonna keep this on me. I also do need to finish some of the houses, at least this one. I have some tinkering for Tekken right now, so maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit of Tekken. I mean, I've been playing for a little bit, so yeah, yeah I think that I'm gonna do some Tekken. Right, but we did accomplish something today. We did kill the Skeletron, we upgraded the flame, now we just need to farm stuff and then we get the maximum flame. It has taken me a long time to do it, so maybe I need to find a faster way because eventually I do want to speedrun this game. I have the path somewhat in memory, and now I know a lot faster ways to do it. Yeah, because I went over there. But what is over at the Sun Temple? Because essentially this is the very last place that you're meant to go. I don't remember there being anything there. Okay, so, but for now, I think that we're gonna press... What's all... What? It's this one. Right. Oh, hang on a minute. Handsome. This one. Uh, let's see, I need to remove, of course, until next time, because now I'm playing Tekken and more in Shrouded tomorrow. Yes.